today is, well, it's part of NAIDOC week and it's an open day today for the public to come. CFA Obama has been here for five years now. The Barmer Brigade has quite a large Aboriginal population around it, including a small village across the river from us called Kummeragunja. When CFA started higher, it just fell into our hands. The idea of it is to try and involve Aboriginal folk into CFA, and it's been pretty successful to formalise what we've been doing informally in the past. My name's Leon Atkinson. I'm a member of the Yorta Yorta community here at Barma. Back in my days, there was probably two or three of us uh, indigenous that were um, on the CFA, and we've always had great communications and great relationships. The CFA is part of our community, and they're a big part of our community. They're not just there to wait for the siren to go off. They, they are able to come out and enjoy themselves and, and to, to help us all together break down whatever barriers there may be and, and, and walk together. So the flag for us here at the Brigade is a symbol of what we've achieved, the, the Kayak program. Uh, it was handed to us at a smoking ceremony, uh, it was smoked and given to us and told to us that it was a welcoming tool for Aboriginal people. If they see the flag flying out the front, well then firstly they know that, well, yeah, this organisation uh, is, is supportive of, of us and, and inclusive. The Brigade will benefit enormously by having uh, members of the Aboriginal community join us with their um, hundreds, thousands of years of land management, fire management. Um, also, we might very well have a, a fire in progress that could be impinging on or near um, a sacred site, so it's advantageous to have that knowledge. Here at the Yeroa Arboretum, we conducted a, a workshop just looking at how the, the traditional burning would apply in this landscape. To look at this now, um, uh, you wouldn't realise that there, there'd been a burn here only a few weeks ago. Um, it, it certainly hasn't harmed the landscape at all. I think the most important thing I learned that after 40 years of being in and around fire, I, I didn't know everything that I thought I did. This is something entirely different. It gives me a, a, a better understanding on how we can use fire in a, in a way that doesn't require a lot of resources, doesn't require fire trucks, doesn't re require a lot of people, and we're, we're gentler and kinder to the landscape. TAP is really important to CFA uh, for a, a number of reasons. We have to have diversity, we, we have to be a, a different organisation to what we, we have been in the past. I think that's how we change attitude is by having more involvement and showing that our communities that the CFA are quite prepared to sit down and, and, and help our communities in any way they can. The kids that are five years old today in 10 years time will be 15 and if they've had CFA exposure for 10 years then we should be doing a great thing and really meeting the goals of Kayak.